So I have a, uh, a radio, an SWR meter, a tuner, and some coax. And the coax goes up and out of the house, and it goes up on the roof, and it goes up on the chimney. And there's an un -un ballot up here. The un, -un ballot has, a, uh, uh, has a, uh, a wire that goes down to a ground rod. So it's, it's, it's grounded on one end. And then there's some random length of wire. And that's my HF antenna. All right, and it works great. Um, you just need to twiddle the knobs on the tuner and look at the SWR meter and you can get it to match. And oh, by the way, the radio's got an internal tuner too. You can push the button if you want to fine tune it. But anyway, it all works. Um, let me show it to you. So it's a Yaesu FT900. Uh, the 10 meter band's broken. But everything else works. <laughs> uh, I got it really, really cheap. Um, and I got these for $15 each at a swap meet. Um, those are a good deal too. So anyway, I got the whole thing really cheap. Um, it's nice. It's a nice meter. Uh, nice, easy to see the reflected power and you don't need to calibrate it. It measures directly. Um, and uh, it's, a, it's, it's only 100 watts, so I, I can get away with a small, uh, a small transmatch. All right, so I was interested in, let's go ahead and use the Nano VNA. It's, it's fun just to look to see what you've got, even though it works fine. It's fun to look to see what you got and uh, see how far away the antenna is from where you need to tune it to. Um, there are some, maybe some natural bands or, or you know, bands that it normally resonates at. Um, so uh, that's what I have here. And I'm getting a bad reflection, so let me uh, let me change the camera angle. Okay, that's better. Okay, um, so you can see that there are some dips. The scan here is from three to thirty megahertz, and we can uh, move around to see where it's resonating. But that doesn't really matter for this video. Um, what we really care about is it looks like it's it's uh, pretty much self-resonant here and and here, maybe a little dip there. Um, but it dawned on me that mm, maybe that's not correct. Um, why wouldn't that be correct? Uh, it's the same thing as all this stuff, right? Um, well, there's one difference. Um, the coax plugs into the transmatch, and if I didn't have a transmatch, it would plug into the, into the radio. And both of those devices have big ground wires on them. Uh, they have big copper braid ground wires. Um, well, the Nano VNA doesn't have a big copper ground wire on it. It's all just floating in the breeze, which means that the coax shield is just doing whatever wants on this end. It's not being tied to ground on this end. And I wondered if that made a difference. So uh, here's that big, that big ground shield, and I'm going to hold it here on the... Uh, and you can see, boom, it changed. We're getting a resonance down there around four... Uh, four megahertz and our other band shifted a bit. So let me, let me let it go. That's no ground. And here's ground. No ground. And ground. So, uh, I suggest <laughs> that, uh, let's go back and look at the diagrams. So the one thing I left off of these diagrams is the radio has a big ground connected to it and the tuner has a big ground connected to it. Um, and when you connect this coax, the shield of the coax now has a big ground connected to it, right? And so that's what's left off when you disconnect this and hook it up to the uh, Nano VNA. So uh, remember that one.